Hi everyone, I'm going to tell you about why we're fundraising for Nepal. Um, in 2015, Nepal was hit by a devastating earthquake. Around 9,000 people were killed and there was so much devastation and destruction of buildings. Uh, we have two students from Nepal at our school, so we thought it fitting that we would raise money for this. Um, in January this year, Georgie, our school captain that you just saw, and myself, along with Ria and her family, flew to Kathmandu. This is Ria's house. And we decided we would go and visit our school. So here we are going up into the countryside. Um, this is what the streets of Kathmandu look like. As you can see, it's quite chaotic. Um, there's lots of traffic, not really many rules, and um, it's quite dusty. And yeah, there's still a lot of construction going on. Um, yeah, so we headed out into the countryside. Uh, the school that we're helping is around 50 kilometers from Kathmandu. However, because of the road conditions, it took us about five hours to get up there. So we left early in the morning. Here we are going up into the countryside. That's our driver. And um, in Nepal, they have lots of uh, terrace farming on the side of the hills. You can see the road conditions there, people walking everywhere. Um, walking to school, walking, women walking with um, loads on their heads. You can see the Himalayan mountains in the background there. And this is going up to the school. We are on a very small road. That's the name of our school up in Nawakot Prefecture um, province. And here we are at the school. Children gave us flowers as we arrived and traditional Nepalese welcome. Um, that's Georgie and Ria with the school principal. And this is the classroom where the kids um, study because that was where their classroom was. Um, where we're standing now was where the classrooms were, but they were all destroyed during the earthquake. Oh, this is the classroom. classroom and I just realized all the wood and everything that would have been from the other school that already collapsed in the earthquake and the children are so beautiful no. <laughs> and then they have this amazing view of mountains all around high mountains and this is the spot over here is where over there right on the edge that's where the school was this is the path they walked down to go home right down there And then it goes around all the way down the valley. And where they're, what they're doing now is this is the other classrooms they had to build since the school broke down. And then they have, um, over here's where the school was. just so beautiful the whole school parents grandparents students came and they gave us flowers I was having a meeting still about where to build the new school in the best position for the for the students this was the, chosen as the best location first because of the breeze and the beautiful mountains it's the best conditions for the students to study in the road we came on over there. This is Georgie, our school captain, and Rhea, I'm so proud of them. 
Yeah, everyone's here. It's a very special day. Okay, here's the girls playing the simple game of jacks. And this is what our money has helped do. Within the last few months, we've been building the school. You can see the foundations. Um, three rooms are being built. We did promise them four rooms, so we still want more money to finish that off. But the building is almost finished. It's going to be finished in June before the monsoon season. Um, and you can see everyone's pitching in and helping to build it. And the children are so happy to be able to have a wonderful school to, um, you know, study in somewhere warm, somewhere safe for them. And um, it'll be a really great building for them. We also want to be able to send them lots of things to help them to study. So pencils and books and, um, yeah, things like that. Um, anyway, thank you for helping us out and let's enjoy Harmony Day. Thanks, guys.